All right, so the earnings call was today. We might as well get as many details out as we can as quickly as we can because I know you're dying to find out what Fisker had to say today. First, the California DMV sales license has been approved and Fisker will use a third-party vendor for title and integration services. Home delivery partners for the EU and U.S., have been acquired, but they did not specifically mention anybody. Pop-up delivery sites will be established in areas where delivery centers and partners have not been established yet. So even if you live in a remote area, they can do a pop-up somewhere near you. Trade-in services are available in all of the initial launch areas. The flagship launch centers in Los Angeles and Munich will open in mid-Q2. 2023. The next launch centers where test drives can be completed are Vienna, Copenhagen, and Stockholm. A test drive and delivery center in Munich is underway right now. More than a dozen properties for service test drives and more in the U.S. and Europe are in negotiation. The ocean charging partners in the U.S. and Europe are now finalized. Third-party service plus Fisker in-house service solutions partners have been nominated for after-sales service and repair in key U.S. and European markets, and Fisker claims a broad geographic coverage for Ocean customers right from the beginning. Also, initial service will be provided by Fisker-owned service centers and Fisker Mobile Service, which is also outfitting vehicles right now for that task, and that is currently underway. The homologation process for the Ocean is scheduled to be completed in March, and then that will be followed by the regulatory approval process. The reason for delays was COVID, weather, and a retest. It was also noted during the call that the U.S. and Europe homologations were being done at the same time, and a simultaneous regulatory approval of this type is kind of unprecedented. The benefit in the end is that Fisker will be able to shift production to the markets that have the strongest growth and highest demand because such a broad regulatory approval is finished in the early stages of production. Another exciting homologation detail is that the EPA and WLTP range tests are complete. The data has not been published. However, Fisker anticipates the ocean to have the world's longest range of any SUV or crossover priced below 70,000 US or 70,000 euros. And Henrik anticipates the EPA range will be closer to 360 than 350 miles. And as far as the LTP, Fisker stated he thinks the range will be closer to 700 kilometers rather than 630. Henrik thanked his engineering team for working to produce such a long range vehicle as Fisker's launch product. As far as manufacturing, the winter testing has been concluded. The General Assembly staff training is almost complete. Some suppliers are slow to ramp, and this will be the limiting factor for Fisker in 2023. But 5000 a month is the goal. 42400 units was previously quoted in other earnings calls and was reiterated during this call. Fisker is confident that once regulatory approval is complete, that production will be ready to begin. Henrik Fisker also stated that Magna has the ability currently to produce 100 cars a week right now. Some other general information, Fisker is right now at 65,000 reservations. Henrik Fisker states the user interface will be intuitive for the ocean and over-the-air update capabilities are complete. As far as the Fisker pair, there was a lot of speculation, but new pair images have been released. Concerning sustainability, the Fisker is currently in line with UN Sustainability Development Goals. A sustainability life cycle assessment is complete and will be published this year with regards to ESG. Fisker is now the top-ranked U.S. OEM in sustainability, and that's with regards to least risk. Also regarding manufacturing, there are 25-plus vendors that Fisker is currently working with. Concerning production, the extreme reservation conversions will begin soon in Europe and the U.S. Fisker also confirmed 300 deliveries of the Ocean 1 in Q2. The Fisker battery contract is complete. That price is set. However, there are certain material fluctuations that still can change. And as far as the earnings call goes, that's a quick nutshell that'll save you an hour and 20 minutes of listening to the full earnings call. If you have any additional questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. My name is Adam. I cover the Fisker Ocean as well as many other EVs. Subscribe for more. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, smash the like button. Thank you.